Meghan Markle and Harry's team make explosive attack on William and Kate as rift deepens. Harry and Meghan publicly locked horns with other members of the royal family last night as the fallout from an ITV documentary turned sour. A source close to the Sussexes hit out at the hysterical media reaction to comments made by Prince Harry about his brother William in Sunday's documentary. Harry and Meghan's rift with the Cambridges was in danger of turning into a second war of the Waleses, the PR battle between Charles and Diana in the 1990s, after the source complained palace insiders were working against them. And the same source suggested the House of Windsor was ill-equipped to harness the power of the couple who, they said, has single-handedly modernized the monarchy. As royal aides tried to dampen the flames. The extraordinary criticisms came via a briefing given to U.S. television by royal correspondent Max Foster of CNN. Harry has known the newsman for at least six years and was interviewed by him during his four-month tour as an Apache helicopter pilot in Afghanistan in 2013. It was the latest in a long series of briefings given to U.S. broadcasters and celebrity magazines on behalf of Harry and Meghan. The Los Angeles-born former television actress has been accused of employing an alternative court of lawyers, agents and public relations experts across the Atlantic in an effort to improve her image and fight back against the way she has been portrayed in Britain. CNN said that a source close to the couple had criticized media coverage of an interview on the Harry and Meghan an African Journey program in which Harry admitted that his relationship with his brother William had suffered. People close to both brothers have confirmed that William and Harry have spoken since the interview was aired. William, 37, is worried about the fragile state of Harry and Meghan, who both admitted they were struggling to cope with the scrutiny that goes with being working members of the most famous family in the world. But CNN source complained that UK reports of the couple's woes and media briefings by palace insiders and friends were classic examples of anti-Prince Harry and Meghan hysteria. CNN reported, the source added that the institution around the British royal family is full of people afraid of and inexperienced at how to best help harness and deploy the value of the royal couple who, they said, have single-handedly modernized the monarchy. It was a put-down that poured petrol on the flames of a dispute between the Sussexes and others inside the royal family, including the Queen, the Cambridges and the Prince of Wales. All insist they have tried to welcome Meghan into the family, but at the same time, they have distanced themselves from Harry and Meghan's decision to release a vitriolic statement attacking the royal press pack and to begin legal proceedings against the Mail on Sunday, The Sun and the Daily Mirror. In the documentary, Meghan suggested that she and Harry might ultimately walk away if they cannot find happiness in their public roles. She also said that her British friends had warned her not to marry Harry because the media interests surrounding the royal family would destroy her life. In an interview yesterday her former agent Jean Anel Thurpcown said the Duchess had been naive. I did speak to Meghan about the British media and it was clear that she didn't know what she was letting herself in for. She was naive. She said, Miss Nell Thurpcown, 54, had lunch with the then star of the U.S. television drama Suits, just hours before her first date with the royal in 2016. As romance blossomed, the agent said she warned her client, This is the end of your normal life, the end of your privacy, everything. But she said Meghan just held up her hand and said, Stop, I don't want to hear any negativity. Meghan terminated their working relationship in October 2017, a week before she and Harry announced their engagement.